So with this question, right, you've yeah. got all the details as written. So two particles, and they have mass of three kilograms, one of them. Yeah. The other one, m kilograms, unknown. But yeah. we know that m, right, is less than three. Yes. Okay. And that means that you'll be able to work out the direction of the yeah. motion. Okay. Yeah. The other bits in the question are that light, inextensible string over a smooth pulley. So the mass of the string doesn't affect it because it's light. Yeah. Inextensible means that both particles are going to move um, with the same motion, maybe in opposite directions, but the actual uh, type of motion will be the same. Right? So there's no stretching and so on and so forth. And it's a smooth pulley, so there's no friction forces involved. So those three yeah. things you must watch out for. Okay? Yeah. Released from rest, so we know that initial velocity is zero. Right? Yeah. So let's put that in. Okay? And the initial acceleration, right, from that zero velocity, A is three sevenths of G. Yeah. Okay? And G we're taking is 9.8 or 9.81. Uh, 9.8 for my spec. 9.8, right. So G is 9.8, all right? Bear that in mind. Obviously, it's um, meters per second squared, all right? Yeah. Okay, two things the question is asking for. Finding tension and string and finding M, okay? Yeah. Right, first of all, always do a sketch. So you've got your... Um, Pulley, and your two masses. All right. Let's make that one three, and this one is M, where M is less than three. All right. Yes. And so if you now look at the forces, right, the first thing always to do, right, is do a... a free body diagram for each of the masses, right? So we know there's going to be a tension in the string. It's a single string. So the tension will be the same throughout. And the other thing is that, remember that tension always pulls away from whatever it's attached to. Yeah. All right? A string can never push. Okay? All right. So the first thing is free body diagram. And so we've got the 3 kilo one, which will have a weight of 3G acting down. Yeah. All right? And you've got the tension acting up. All right, and same way going with the M, so that's a three, and that's your M. That one, MG, and again, tension acting up. Okay, yeah. what you then have to do is apply F equals MA to each of those in turn. All okay. right, so. Right, so the first one back here. Um, let's say for the first equation, we're going to say because um, the important thing again to remember is that m is less than three. Right, so it's the three g one that's going to go down, and the m one is going to go up. All right, so that one go down, that one go up. Okay, with the same acceleration, but in opposite directions. Okay, with that so far? Yes. All right. So, therefore, the 3 kilogram one, you'll have 3G minus T, all right, equals 3 times A, all right? 
and that's satisfying that equation there. All right? Yeah. This bit, that is a net force, i.e. the resultant. Yes. Okay? And this is the mass times the acceleration. I'll substitute the acceleration in, in just a bit. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, let's tidy that up. It doesn't really matter which one you do, okay? So we know that 3G minus 3A equals T, all right? And that's effectively, without having to do anything else, we can just solve for T because that's what the question asked for. Find tension in string um, just after it's been released, okay? So there we go. And that... 3, it's G minus, remember A was 3 seventh G, right? Yeah. 3 G over 7. Yeah. So, all right? So that is 4 seventh G, all right? Yeah. So it's 3 times 4 G over 7 equals T, which, just tidying that up, it's 12 G over 7, all right? Yeah. And that's, the units are Newtons for force. Yeah. You don't need to uh, uh, expand it, so you do 12 times 9.8 and then get the... You can do, I mean, uh, the question hasn't specified. So, okay. in in modern questions, you can actually leave it like that. Or you can put it in a calculator, and that will come to, bear with me, sixteen point eight. Okay. For an exact value. Okay? Okay. All right. So that's the first part done. Next, it wants us to find M. All right, so that bit there. Now that we know what T is, look at it, you know, because that was the M bit, wasn't it? In other words, you can put the mass calculation from here. This second diagram, that's what we're going to use, all right? So for that one, T minus MG equals M and A, right? Yeah. Okay. So we know T, we know A, and G is obviously a constant, right? So all we have to do is to move this across. Let's put it this way. M A plus M G equals T. It's usually better to do the algebra first before messing with the numbers, all right? So just rewriting the equation, T over A plus G. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? So that is, we already know it's 16.8 from the previous part for T. All right, yeah. and divided by, should we put uh, 3G over 7 plus G, All right? So that, a little bit of fraction, uh, 3G plus G equals how much? No, 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 no. Algebraically, in terms of G. Oh, algebraically. Mm -hmm. oh, um, Ten G over seven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And put that there. So you've got sixteen point eight, and it's going to be over ten G, and top. The seven goes up top. Yeah. Yeah? 
and that makes life a lot easier in terms of doing a calculation. Yeah. And this is 98. Do you see how we got there? Yeah. Yeah? It means that you're putting in much simpler numbers into the calculator, less prone to any kind of mistake. Yeah. So 16.8 times 7 divided by 98. And it comes to be 1.2. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Any questions on that? Uh, so what if you end up with T as a negative? Then it means you have it the wrong way around. Okay. How would T come out to be negative? There were some questions which when I was like just practicing my own where I got T as a negative somehow. Okay. Um, if you end up with T being negative, it means you've got an equation the wrong way around. Okay. Or um, <clears throat> it's telling you that the string is actually pushing on an object. Okay. Strings, as I said right at the beginning, cannot push. All right. Therefore, um, you've got to re examine what you've done. You must have got one of the equations, like here, for example, yeah? yeah, you might have got something backwards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One little thing to add to that, right? If you consider the pulley from what I've just said, yeah? So there's your pulley. Okay. If you consider the forces acting on the pulley, look what happens. You've got the string doing that, haven't you? Yeah. Right? Again, the string cannot push on the pulley. Yeah. So if you consider the pulley, then again the strings are pulling down on it. So the total force on the pulley equals 2t downwards. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So if you define tension as a pulling force, it can't be negative. Okay. The only time you can have negative tension, if you like, is if you have a tow bar or a connecting rod, okay, okay? which can then push on something, like, you know, car and trailer, right? Yeah. So when the car breaks the trailer will experience a push from the rod to slow it down. Okay. Does that make sense? Have I managed to explain your question? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Uh, also, I wrote on the test, right? Well, mm -hmm. well, that question was something along the lines of, um, if the string is inaccessible, what does this mean for... Um, right. The, the Coming back to that first part, the inextensible bit, right? Yeah simply means, it doesn't mean anything for the pulley, okay? But it means that the two objects will move at exactly the same time with the same motion, but in opposite directions. Yeah, I, I wrote the tension will be uniform throughout and acceleration will stay the same mm -hmm. on both things. But I got the question, the answer wrong for some reason. Uh, you need to say they were equal and opposite. But wait, wait, what do you mean? All right, tell you what, um, building on that, did you have any other things about the maths of that particular question? No, no? I'm, I'm fine with it now, yeah. Okay, all right, let's just uh, leave that one there. Okay, one second. Done, all right.